Hi, this is Leonie from Spines and Splines. Earlier this year, we went on holiday to Lisbon and while we were there, we tried out a few different Airbnb experiences. And one of them was this two hour activity where we got to paint our own Portuguese tile. I wasn't sure exactly what type of tile painting we'd be doing going in. I've done a little bit of ceramic work before, but not very much. And I've used those non-professional ceramic paints that can be set in an oven at home but it turned out that we were using traditional ceramic glazes and the tiles would be fired in a heavy duty kiln. The tiles that we had to paint on had a really finely ground powdered glass coating on top that was matte to paint on and then when you bake it it becomes really shiny and that matte powdered surface absorbed the glazes really rapidly and we were set up with these little wooden frames to stop us accidentally brushing that powder away as we painted. The glazes that we used were mixed by the artist who runs the classes and made up from pigments and water and we had a wide range of brushes to choose from. I chose to work with two Japanese horsehair brushes as I use them quite a lot at home for watercolour and ink stuff and I'm really comfortable with them. One brush was very small for fine detail work and one brush was bigger to fill in larger areas of colour more easily. We were given a practice tile to work on first which turned out to be a great idea as I ended up changing my approach for making the tile. I'd pre-prepared a little design that I wanted to do and if I was making it in watercolour I'd overlay different shapes of colour to create a geometrically fractured surface and I originally tried that with the tile but it turned out that the glazes didn't really act in a way that allowed for a lot of transparent layering like I can do with watercolour. My design was based on an etching that I've previously made of the Constellation Crux which is more commonly known as the Southern Cross and I chose this for the tile as the Southern Cross, as we know it today, was first mapped by explorers from Portugal. It's the smallest of the 88 official constellations and is generally the most important to those of us from the Southern Hemisphere. In my etching, the lines radiate out from each of the main stars in the system, creating like a web of sky in the shape of the constellation. When my first attempt at sort of doing this on the tile didn't work so well, I opted to go the more traditional route for the design, which was to draw it out on a piece of tracing paper and then use an awl, or in this case a sewing quick unpick, to punch holes along the lines in the tracing paper. You then put that tracing paper down onto your tile and gently rub some graphite powder over the top and the graphite falls through the holes and then when you remove the excess, like blow it away, you're left with a map of your design on your tile. You can't draw straight onto the tile with a pencil as it would exert too much pressure and you'd move too much of that glass powder around. Our instructor's eyes got a little wide when she saw how many holes I'd made <laughs> and ideally you would want to have a simpler outline to work from, but I made it work. There are also a lot of traditional patterns available to people who might not have spent several hours planning out their tile at home beforehand. But surely those people are in the minority, right? My husband was also painting a tile at the same time as me that he abstracted a photo from tile patterns that we'd taken earlier in the week when we were out and about. And I don't have any video of him painting, but I'll show his tile at the end as it turned out really well. Now, I'm probably definitely gonna get this pronunciation wrong, but the Portuguese people call these traditional tiles as well as yours, and they're a big part of the culture and the city. Many buildings are covered in them and they look amazing and it's not just buildings as well, it's all sorts of things, so park benches, stuff outside, just random everything is covered in tiles. The word itself means polished stone and apparently their use began in Egypt, but they took a stronger hold in Portugal than anywhere else. Anyway, after the outline was transferred to my tile surface, I spent about an hour or an hour and a half painting the final image. And while it comes from the same idea as my original etching, the addition of colour makes the finished image almost entirely different. And there's this cluster of stars called the jewel box in the Southern Cross that are visible through binoculars. And I kind of wanted this image to be multifaceted and jewel-like.
life, will he be able to go to work? I went through one colour at a time painting a random selection of the geometric shapes in my image until I was finished. And I had originally planned on keeping the white of the tail absolutely blank, but could see that it accidentally made a couple of splatters in the glaze in a few spots. So I added some extra light splattering so that they wouldn't look so out of place. And then I added some loose outlines around the edge of the constellation and signed my name. The tiles then went into the kiln for firing the next day and we were able to pick them up a couple of days later and bring them home. This was super fun to do and we really enjoyed all the different experiences that we did while we were in Lisbon. 
I actually enjoy them so much that I'm planning on giving it a try myself with art, printmaking and bookbinding classes. So if you're ever visiting Cork Island, get in touch. If you're in Lisbon and want to do the tile painting workshop that we did with Anna, I'll leave a link to the class details in the trousers of this video. As always, like, subscribe, share and comment if you enjoyed this video and I'll be back with more art projects soon. Cheers!